Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a very interesting algebra question, you can see this question in the middle of the screen here. We have 4 plus 4 times 4 divided by 4 and plus 4. And what is the correct answer right now? Let's pause the video and let's remember our school knowledge, let's remember our algebra skills. And right here we have three options, option A, option B, option C. So right now choose one option, what do you think is the correct answer? And write your answer down into the comment section and a solution, write, write of course a solution down into the comment section, it will be really interesting to check our solutions in the end of the video. Okay, so here's our question. You can see this question right here in the middle of the screen. And you know, right here we have a lot of mathematical operations. We have right here addition, we have right here multiplication, we have right here division, we have right here addition once more. And what makes all the difference in the world in the order we do this problem, okay? Do we do maybe maybe addition first or do we do multiplication first? Do we do maybe division first or this addition from right to left side? And you know, it turns into a big argument. A lot of students confused about the first step, what we need to do at first, addition, multiplication, division, or this addition. And you know, it turns into a big argument. So right now, let's try to figure out what is the correct order to do this problem. Because right here, obviously, whatever order of operation we select is going to create a different answer. For example, if we start with multiplication, for example, we have we have 8. If we start with division, we have, for example, 12. I don't know exactly, but for this is like a quick example when we use different order of operation and we have a completely different answer. It's not good thing in terms of mass, because in terms of mass, when we have addition, when we have multiplication, and when we have division, we need to know what is the correct order to perform these three mathematical mathematical operations, okay? We need to know 100% what we need to do at first, for example, multiplication, division, or addition, you know? And for this step, we need to know a little bit about order of operation. So let's look closely what I mean right now. Here's our order of operation. And you know, this order of operation is called PEMDAS order of operation, but maybe you know a little bit about bond mass. It just depending on what country you live in. For example, this bond mass mainly used in India and in the UK. This one is PEMDAS is mainly used in, in Canada, USA, Europe, and a lot of the things. Okay, this is like the most popular one. But to be honest, when you use bond mass, nothing changed for you. This is absolutely great thing. And this is not an English word PEMDAS. This is like like a checklist. So each of these letters stands for something and I'm going to explain it in a strict order from left to right because on the left side we have higher priority, on the right side we have we have lower priorities. So let's start, for example, with uh, with letter P, which stands for parentheses, and then, of course, each of these letters we will scan in a perspective of this question, okay? So letter P stands for parentheses. We are talking about this type of brackets, this type of squiggly brackets, these type of brackets, you know, we are talking about this group and symbols. Right now, let's scan our question. Where do we have group and symbols right here? I don't see any of those. We don't have any, like, parentheses right here. We don't have any of those. So we can actually get rid of this uh, parentheses part. So let me just skip this part. After parentheses, we move forward to the next step. The next step is exponents. Right now, let's find where do we have exponents. And you know, you don't need to be confused about this part because this is power. So we are talking about, for example, 2 to the power 5, 4 to the power 10. We are talking about this thing, which is called which is called powers. And right now, let's scan where do we have maybe powers in our question. Let's look at it. I don't see any of those. We don't have any four squares. We don't have any of those. So we can actually we can actually skip this part. We don't have any powers. So we can actually skip this exponents part. Really great. Right now, let's move forward to the next step. The next step is multiplication. And you know, I want to mention one really important moment because we need to uh, considered it as one group. So multiplication, division, this is one common group. So M stands for multiplication, D stands for division. And you know, because multiplication and division in terms of like 99% of cases had the higher priority. I'm not talking about implicit multiplication. I'm talking about basic stuff. I'm talking about basic multiplication and basic division. Whenever we have a mixture of multiplication and division, so for example, we have 2 times 2 divided by 2. Whenever we have a mixture of multiplication and division, we need to perform it in a strict order from left from left to right. Right here we have two signs, so the first sign from left to right, we need to perform multiplication first. But one really interesting tricky moment, whenever we have, for example, 2 divided by 2, for example, times 3, we need to perform it in a strict order from left to right. And in this case, the first sign is is division. So right here we need to divide it first because division comes first from left to right and right here we need to multiply it because right here multiplication comes first from left to right. So right now let's look closely at our question. Multiplication, division, I'm pretty sure we have this sign so let's underline where do we have it. So addition we are not interested in this. Right here we have multiplication so we're interested in this and we have, we have division. We are interested in this in this part. And right now, as I told before, we have we can easily put imaginary brackets only in our head that we need to evaluate this uh, expression right here. So plus, right here, let's use imaginary brackets right now. So 4 times 4 
divided by 4 and plus 4. So right now let's use imaginary brackets so something like that, that we need to evaluate this expression at first because we don't have parentheses, we don't have exponent, and the first thing we have it right here is, is a multiplication division part. Of course, right now let's scan what, what sign we have first from left to right. We have two signs, we have multiplication right here, and we have division, and right now we need to scan what is the first sign from left from left to right. Of course, left side is right here, right side is right here, and the first sign from left to right is this multiplication. So we need to multiply 4 times 4, okay? What do we have as a result? We have 4 plus 4 times 4. So let's keep this imaginary brackets, like for better understanding. 4 times 4 equal to 16. And we still have this division. Don't forget about it. We, we, we haven't completed yet. So division by 4 and plus plus 4. So right now we need to complete, we complete multiplication part, it's really great, we complete it, and right now we need to, mm, let's underline this, okay, and right now we can easily complete this, this division part, let's do this right now, so as a result we have 4 plus, we don't need this imaginary bracket anymore, because 16 divided by 4 equal to, equal to 4 and this division addition by 4 on the right side. So right now as you can see we complete this, uh, maybe the hardest one in this question, we complete this part which is like the hardest one, we complete this multiplication part, we complete it, and we complete this division part, which is also which is also really great. And in conclusion we have addition and subtraction, so A stands for addition, S stands for subtraction, but to be honest at this point you don't need this order of operation anymore because this is basic addition, yeah, in 99% in of cases you can easily skip this order of operation at this point. So 4 plus 4 plus 4 equal to equal to 12. And to be honest, this is our answer to this question right now. I really hope you understand it. So the main thing is the next one. So first of all, no parentheses right here. We can easily skip it. So let me change my pen real quick. So we can easily skip this part. We don't have parentheses. We don't have exponents. We have multiplication, which is really great. We have division, which is really great. We have addition, which is which is really great for us. And to be honest, in this perspective, you can easily see in this horizontal perspective, you can easily see what elements have the higher priority. Of course, this is a group, but to be honest, multiplication division group has the higher priority than addition and subtraction. And from here, I want to underline, I wanted to uh, tell you the main important rule in this case. Because multiplication division mixture is all the time before addition and subtraction. Okay, addition and subtraction. So the first thing, the key moment right now, you need to evaluate the expression with multiplication division sign at first. Yeah, here's our first step, and then you need to go in conclusion, you need to solve, you need to evaluate this expression with addition and subtraction part. So the first thing is this one and this one, and the first step, and the second step is addition and this addition. So multiplication division have the higher priority. And right now let's look closely at the beginning, we have our answer, our 12, let's look closely, maybe we have answer right here, yeah we have it, so this is our, looks like our answer. But you know, I want to show you a really interesting trick right now, because Here's uh, this question is very tricky because if you look closely in the middle, so let me just erase all of this stuff real quick. Yeah, 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 let me do this real quick. And right now, let's look closely at our question. So, what do we have? Here's our expression. And to be honest, if you look closely at this, at this one, okay, 4 times 4 divided by 4, a lot of students like don't pay attention to this expression in the middle. But if you look closely, we just multiply this 4 by 4 and then we divide this 4 by 4. To be honest, this is completely the same thing if you're talking about addition subtraction. For example, just imagine this thing. We have 10 minus, uh, oh, let's start with the plus 1, okay? So we have 10 plus 3 and minus minus 3. So what we did right here? We just add to this 3. Uh, so let me just, okay, let's start with this point. So we have 10 plus 3 is 13 and minus 3, we have 10. So it changed nothing. I want to say you like that, so, okay? So it changed nothing. So to be honest, we add 3 and we subtract 3. It changed nothing. And in the same way, it works absolutely with, with multiplication and division. For example, we have 10 times 3 and division by 3. So what we did right here, we multiplied by 3, we have 30, and then we divide by 3, so we have the same 10. So this expression right here changed absolutely nothing, okay? Multiplication and division by 4. So we can easily reject this thing, we can actually skip this part, and what do we still have? We still have 4, we still have plus 4, and we still have plus 4 in the end. So to be honest, this is absolutely the same 
the same 12. This is an extremely important trick. I really hope you understand it. it this trick will help you definitely in, in your algebra adventures. Yeah, this is a really great, really great tricky move. So if you choose 12 as a correct answer, you can easily be proud of yourself. Everything is absolutely great. If you choose 8 as a correct answer, well, you need to, you need to review a little bit your basic math because it's, it's a wrong answer in terms of like any order of operation. This is a wrong answer. And of course, 16, to be honest, this is absolutely wrong answer answer of course it depending on what country you're in and what country what order of operation you prefer but in my case in according to pemdas according to burmas and according to the most popular internet library for example you can easily plug in this question on your calculator on your internet library and in 99 percent correct answer will be will be 12 which is absolutely great so you need to review a little bit your basic math when you choose correct answer eight you need to review a little bit your basic math when you choose option c and you can easily be proud of yourself when you choose this answer 12. This is also really great. And in conclusion, when you want to check this uh, question on your calculator, just try to plug in the whole problem from left side to right side, because you know, sometimes happen that when you plug in this question on your calculator, you know, you plug in, for example, 4 plus 4 from the beginning, and sometimes calculator say, okay, here we have 8, okay, right here at this point. But it's not works like that. You can easily, you need easily plug in the whole question from left side to right side. And then your calculator is smart enough to know about order of operation. Then your calculator see, okay, I have the addition, I have right here multiplication, I have division, I have I have uh, once more addition, I don't have parentheses because ninety nine percent of calculators works according to according to the things which is called PEMDAS. Sometimes in in terms of PEMDAS, you know, there are a lot of orders of operation in the world. I'm talking about the most popular one according to PEMDAS and BODMAS. You know, and this was my explanation about this question. I really hope you understand my thought about it. The first thought, you need to know what is the correct order to do this problem. You can easily learn this order right here at this point. Correct answer is 12. You can easily see this answer right here. When you solve this question and said the correct answer is 8 or 16, well, you need to review a little bit your basic math. Here's a few tricks. The first one and the second one extremely important tricks i really hope you understand my thought about it why why, why can we cancel this four and uh, times four and division by four and in conclusion tricky move with a calculator just try to plug in the whole problem from left side to right side and everything will be great so thank you everyone for your time thank you everyone for for being here i really appreciate it when you when you look at this question when you solve this question absolutely correct and wish you all the best in your life you can also leave your, your response down into the comment section i really appreciate it and i really hope you enjoy this content i make quick and to uh, like a basic math question it's not that hard there are, there are a lot of uh, channels on youtube which use for example which solve um, higher mathematic question i don't need it i do i want you to Look at this relaxing quick question, and I really hope you enjoy it. If you do, you can easily support me with a like or dislike, doesn't matter. I really appreciate everything, I really appreciate your response. Thank you for your time, wish you all the best in your life, see you in the next videos, and take care of yourself. Have a great day!